Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to add captions to a video file in Google Drive. I have here a video file that you'll notice is in MP4 format. The beginning portion of this is an introduction before a story video, and it's this beginning that I want to have captions. Read, Learn, Grow presents I Took My Frog to the Library, written by Eric A. Kimmel, Pictures by Blanche Sims, read by Miss Tyler. The timestamp down here is going to be critical to adding captions. The timestamp tells you where each portion of the narration starts and stops. You need this to get the captions to show as the narration takes place. From carefully watching the video, I see that the first line of narration that I want as a caption starts at the beginning and takes only three seconds. So I would write, zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds, put a comma, and then put the end as to where that narration stops. So the introduction, read, learn, grow, presents, takes only three seconds of the beginning of the video. Let's take a look to double check. I'm going to back up into my video viewing and watch as this time gets larger. Sometimes you do have to hover a bit to get the times to continue to show. So you put the beginning time, a comma, and the ending time. Then, on a new line of text, put the text that you want to actually show up as your closed caption. Then you need a new line to separate where you want your next caption to start, comma, end, and what that text is. Anything that you put on this line of text will show up as the caption for that portion of the narration, like the quotation marks I have here and then the periods I have in these sentences for the author, illustrator, and narrator of the video. When you're finished with the timestamps and the captions that you want in your video, you have to download the document. Click on File choose download as. You have to use plain text.txt. This is the only file format Google Drive will be able to use to link the text that you have in your captions document to the video so it shows up with the narration. Click on plain text. You should get a box asking what to do with the file, whether your internet browser should open it or save it. You want to choose Save and click OK. It's going to most likely put it into the Downloads folder. If you have a blue arrow or a Downloads button somewhere in your browser, you can click on it and double check that it did put it in the Downloads folder. Now, back in Google Drive with the video file open, you're going to want to click on the three dots over in the right hand top corner where it says More Actions. Then you're going to click on Manage Caption Tracks. If you get a notification about pop-up windows, you'll need to click on Options and Allow Pop-ups for drive.google.com. Now it opens up the video file and the Captions Track section. You're going to click Add New Caption Tracks and then go find the document that you made with Google Docs. Click on Upload, select a file from your device, go find the file in your Downloads folder, click on Open. Now it's going to open the captions document that you made. Choose the English option if that's the language that you need and then click Upload. Now when you click on the video, you should have the captions appear. Read, Learn, Grow presents I Took My Frog to the Library Written by Eric A. Kimmel Pictures by Blanche Sims Read by Miss Tyler you can now close the tab where you were adding the caption track. You can also close the captions Google Doc. If you want to be really sure, you can close the video file, go back and find it, and open it again. Read, Learn, Grow presents I Took My Frog to the Library. Opening it will test that yes, the captions are working well. Now you're ready to enjoy the video with the captions that you created so you know that they are exactly what the narration says.